Different detective. See. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? The cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. I'm from Arcade trying to get rid of me too. These guys wanted to kill someone to shut them up. Or they get this far, or they went with Kawana. Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, ma'am, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> You know jack shit about anything important. Then you can go on home. Just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul mouth as fuck. But not bad, Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh. That. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa Sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa Sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell, and they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. They bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. This is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa Sensei. Well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you. But please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to, well, None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, 
Spare a prayer for Sala Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. I wonder if he's in that picture. I wonder if he's one of those two guys with a different haircut. So he killed her? No, she's just sleeping. Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose, but I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. <sighs> no, not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Ragami-san. Okay. Listen, you're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasella. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. I think the guy, yeah, I don't know. He could be one of those guys in the, the picture. Start identify all, like all of them. But in normal Yakuza fashion, the person in, a, in coma is probably gonna wake up at the end. intense that's I feel like this is like way more intense than the last game enter thank you for coming sure no problem have a seat if you would In that detective's report, Sawa-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Sawa-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakimi-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet, either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa-sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said... 
Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa-sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamracho. They're a gang called RK, and it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa-sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. <sighs> but I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shippokun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa-sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Hamburgers. Yeah, this one's pretty. This one's really gritty. But. I'll leave campus. Um. I mean, yeah, I, I like it though. Obviously, like, happened to her, you know. This is real life, then, yeah, it'd be really, really messed up. But. Uh, the story, and just, yeah, I like the. The realism, I guess. liking it but you know, everybody has over five thousand hours of minecraft it doesn't know how to stop digging exactly oh wait what floor are we on Try to. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft before, actually. Played a lot of uh, Stardew Valley mining. Yagami-san, what do you want? Dude. 
You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba Sensei's body. Now, Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawa hey, someone died or something. Popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha. <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiva Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Fuck off, you little twerp. What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody-two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Miko Shiba sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! I was trying to... I was going to come up something quick about that. <laughs> so, about Akane. She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction at least. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. That was a deep bow. Holy crap. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. Thanks. Yeah, the deeper your bow is like more, I guess like the greater degree of your apology, for those who don't know, or your appreciation as well, I guess. Kick your ass, kid. Oops, uh, <laughs> yeah. So far, so far forward. Get back to your command at nine and hear our strategy.
Probably just need to start saving up for those 5,000 point special abilities. Option to sign the hackers guys cast. <clears throat> I actually thought about that when they were uh, like, oh, how did you find me or whatever? I was like, oh, they probably just get the hacker guy to like hack their phones, the bad guys' phones or whatever. They tracked him that way. Um, one, two, three. Um, yeah. We'll go a little bit further into the main story tonight, but, um... For real? Won't go for much further tonight, though. Enjoy the main first part, it's pretty good. And stay down. There's not many games that are like like this series. <clears throat> there's no, there's just nothing really like it, in my opinion. That's why I enjoy this series. <clears throat> There's nothing really like it. Oh! Ah! Did you enjoy the GTA series? Uh, I'm not, not the biggest GTA fan, to be honest. I like, the, I like the aspects of GTA, like the open world part, but as far as the story goes, it's like, eh. I think Yakuza has better stories than GTA. GTA isn't really, at least in my opinion, isn't really known for that now. It's all about the open world and RP and... I to look both ways. I was trying to ollie over it. <gasps> Puppy. I could change the fur color! <laughs> oh. There we go, Blue Dog. Remember, it was by there. God played GTA for being a violent. I mean, GTA Five had. I mean, they have decent stories. Rockstar has a pretty decent storyline for their games, but. Me, like, I never felt like an impact with, like, any of the main characters from 5. Just like the laser insurance, like, I insurance money. I know. Hey, welcome back, Talk. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa Sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Riveting conversation. Thank you. Oh, yeah. By the way, I was tortured for three hours. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. And you're still blank. Yeah, you're still all sad about your pinky and stuff. I literally got tortured for three hours. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, it's like everyone has amnesia in this game. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa Sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa Sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa Sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akatsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa Sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Nijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently, it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsho. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists and address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. This sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Huh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. What is it? Oh. Must have been weeks. He's already healed up, sort of. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, we're going to save it here.